Hi, welcome to Main Street Macro. I'm Neela Richardson. You know, every year at this time, the Federal Reserve holds its most important, highest profile conference of the year in Jackson, Wyoming. This conference is attended by central bankers around the world, by academics, business leaders, and economists. Well, the highlight of this conference every year is the speech given by the Federal Reserve Chairman, in this case, Jay Powell. Now, the last time the Federal Reserve held this conference, it was virtual. There were still concerns about the pandemic and the rise of the Delta variant. So this will be the first time in two years that the conference is held in person with the backdrop of the Grand Teton Mountains. But that won't be the only difference this year. The economy itself has changed. Here are three ways the economy has shifted and what we might learn from Jay Powell when he takes the stage on that Friday. The first thing that has shifted is that the inflation narrative has gone from transitory to persistent. In August of 2021, consumers were seeing price increases. They were up about 5.2% from a year ago. At that time, the Federal Reserve was still saying that inflation would be transitory, really tied to supply shocks that were caused by the pandemic. Well, what a difference a year has made because inflation has gone from that 5.2% year-over-year climb to an 8.5% climb. Even though that number is down a little bit from the previous month, inflation is way too hot for comfort. And there is a, a new change in the narrative that the transitory inflation has become more persistent. The second economic shift we can see is that in the labor market. It's gone from recovering to tightness. In fact, in August of last year, we were looking at a labor market that was still 5.7 million jobs down from its 2019 levels. Well, we've seen tremendous progress in the labor market since then. And now the Fed has said that the labor market has been tight to the point of unhealthy with companies demanding way more from workers than workers are willing to supply, and that leading to higher wage increases that could stoke already high inflation. The third shift, and this may be the most important, the economy has gone from vigorous growth to weak growth. Last year, the economy grew by a very robust 6.7%. This year, we're seeing a completely different story. The economy actually shrank 1.6% in the first three months of the year and is estimated to decline 0.9% in the second three months of the year. The fate of the economy in the next six months will largely depend on how consumers and their spending are holding up in the midst of these higher prices. Now, how the Fed takes into account this very complex economy with both weakness and strength will be the focus of this conference. And as someone who will be in the audience in Jackson Hole this year, I'm going to be paying close attention to what that means for the Fed's interest rate policy, how high they feel they need to hike rates, and how aggressive they'll need to be in bringing down inflation. For my take on the conference and more on the economy and the future path of interest rates, please check out ADPRI.org.